Hi, this is Katie and this is my life with VEDS or Vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This video is going to be a part of a series that I'm doing on some of the major features or um, criteria for genetic testing for vascular EDS or VEDS. This video is not medical advice. I'm not a doctor, I'm a patient. I have vascular EDS myself. I've talked to a lot of people with it. And so I'm just bringing this information kind of just to get it more out there. I really want people to know about this condition because knowing about it can really make a difference in outcomes. Okay, so first we're starting with arterial dissection or rupture at a young age. I think specifically the international criteria for Ehlers-Danlos syndromes mentions arterial dissection or rupture below the age of 40. Here is the exact information. Arterial rupture or dissection in individuals less than 40 years of age should lead to diagnostic studies to determine if the individual has VEDS or vascular EDS. That is straight from the 2017 International Classification of the Ehlers-Danlos Syndromes. I've got some of it printed out right here for reference so I don't misspeak in this video. If you found this video, you probably already know what an arterial dissection or a rupture is. But very briefly, from a patient perspective, an arterial rupture is when all three layers of the artery wall tear and cause internal bleeding you know, the vessel has actually ruptured. Arteries carry blood throughout the body, and if a rupture has happened, then all three layers of the artery wall have torn, and hypothetically, you'd be bleeding internally. A dissection happens when only the internal layer of the artery wall tears, and I have a lot of experience with those personally. The inner layer tears, and it can cause something called a pseudoaneurysm, which is like an aneurysm that forms from that little tear. It can cause uh, like a flap to form where it blocks the blood flow to an organ or a limb maybe. And there's some other things that can happen with that. But if you found this video, you probably already know what that is. What you might not know is what vascular EDS or VEDS is. VEDS is a condition that causes spontaneous artery dissections or ruptures. It can cause spontaneous bowel perforations, spontaneous pneumothorax, which is where your lung collapses. It can cause um, spontaneous uterine rupture in someone who is like having a baby in their third and is in their third trimester. And it can also cause something called carotid cavernous sinus fistula, which I'll talk about in another video. It's genetic, but you don't have to have a parent with it in order to have it. It's autosomal dominant, which means that if one parent has it, each child from that parent has a 50% chance of getting the condition. And about half of people with VEDS who've been studied don't have parents with this condition. That's called a de novo mutation, where it just spontaneously happens when the egg is fertilized. It just happens sometimes. Importantly, you don't have to have a family member with this condition in order to have it. There are a number of minor criteria described in the, in the classification of Ehlers-Danlos syndromes, like easy bruising and gum recession, joint hypermobility and like the small joints of the fingers. Sometimes other joints in the body can be hypermobile or double jointed as well. Some people, like I said, have had pneumothorax or lung collapse, varicose veins, club feet at birth. There's just quite a few different things and I have another video somewhere where I talk about those, but I'm gonna put a link to the classification of Ehlers-Danlos syndromes in this video. And I'm also gonna include a link to the VEDS movement, which is an organization that advocates for people with vascular EDS and provides resources and support. So if you're worried about this, you think it sounds kind of familiar to you, you can go there and find like the Help and Resource Center that's staffed by a registered nurse who can help you find a doctor in your area that might be able to evaluate you for this. I'll also put a link to some other testing resources. I just think it's really important to know if you have vascular EDS, if that's something you want to know. And I also think it's really easy to not know if you have it. Just because our medical system is kind of so spread out and depending on where you live, if you're not near a university hospital or a doctor who has seen patients with specifically the vascular type of EDS before, your doctor might not know about it and that's totally, unfortunately, normal. So to sum up, arterial dissection or rupture at a young age is one of the major features of vascular EDS. The quote is under 40, should kind of instigate seeing a geneticist to rule this in or rule this out. If you have vascular EDS or you know somebody who has vascular EDS or you love somebody who has vascular EDS, 
share this video, help us raise awareness of this condition, and help other people find this condition who may have it and not know about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.